David here and today I'm doing a review of the Harbor Freight electronic fly swatter. Normally I would not buy a thing like this but Harbor Freight had a free coupon if you bought something else they were giving these away. So uh, normally these sell for $3.99 so it's not a lot of money anyway. Uh, these are not flexible. It's a, it's a hard plastic so you don't really swat it at the fly. What you do is is you turn the switch on and you try to hover it over fly and hope he flies into it. It's got a switch over here on the side. It's a spring mounted switch. You notice when you push down the lid off it goes on and off. You push it and hold it down when you come in contact with the fly. So when the light goes off that shows your fingers off the switch. Now if you could see this here I think it's kind of odd that these are serial numbered. Why would they serialize a, uh, a $4 part? It does use two D batteries and the batteries are accessed over here. If I could get that off. There it is. The D batteries go in here. And there's two of them. And they are not provided with the fly swatter. They're sold separately. Oh, by the way, this is item number 61351. And there is no operator's manual, so you kind of got to guess at what you're uh, doing for operating the fly swatter. I didn't have any flies in the house, so I had to put some salmon skin out to track some flies. Here's one now. Let's see if we can get them. Oh, got away. Darn it. Come back. Oh, missed them. Yeah, I wonder if you could cut salmon on this thing. That'd be an idea. Wait for him to come back. It'd be so cool if I could get two at one time. Okay, power on. Did I get him? No, he got away. There's one on there now. I'll sneak up on him. Go. Yeah, power's on. Oh man, he was sandbagging. I'll get another one. No. Oh. Finally met a fly that was smarter than me. Get him from behind. That's one. Hey, come on. Come on, walk. Come on, walk on the grid. See in there? Oh, got that one. That's a bee. I guess it works on bees too. Okay, here we have a fly on the window. Let's see what happens. Come on, fly away. Whoa! Oh, I think I missed it. No. Yes. No, I missed the shot. I got him. Yay. Yay. Caught 
kind of like an electric chair for a fly. Okay, that one got him. <laughs> oh, that's gotta hurt. I think he's smoking. Well, I've been playing with this fly swatter for two weeks now, and it's time to bring this video to a conclusion. I had trouble finding flies because the weather's been so cool around here that I've had to wait for the weather to warm up, and then I leave the doors open and leave some uh, banana peels uh, scattered around the house that bring some flies in. And uh, it definitely takes a different technique. You gotta kinda trap the fly against the wall or the window. Some people have told me that you can swat them in midair, and I tried that a couple of times, but they're just flying too fast for me. I'm not able to do that. And uh, we just don't get that many flies in this neck of the woods. And when you want to trap them against the wall or the window, you can see the uh, tennis racket type of design. It's very difficult to trap a fly against the window because of the, the thickness of the handle right here. It adds about a, a half inch to the dimension, so you could trap the fly near the tip, but if the fly is smart, they'll uh, try to fly out through the bottom. But I, I did catch a few in that method. Uh, overall, there's nothing like a good rolled up newspaper to hit a fly. Uh, the advantage of, uh, of this electronic fly swatter over the newspaper is that it doesn't smash the uh, body of the fly and make a mess. Uh, however, the electronic fly swatter, if you leave the switch on too long, uh, the fly starts smoking and uh, puts out an, uh, a, uh, a not-so-nice smell. But you get over that. Anyway, if you like this video, consider clicking like. Uh, consider subscribing. You never know when you're going to need to fix a cello. And thanks for watching. Bye now.